Hi, this is Brian Schiff with Functionally Fit. In this call, I'm going to review a single leg, one arm row exercise that I feel is really beneficial for any athlete that you're working with, or a recreational runner, or someone that just struggles with side to side asymmetries in terms of uh, their limb stability, balance, proprioception, or their anti rotation control. So, for this technique, I'm going to demonstrate a kettlebell. You can easily use a dumbbell as well. So my stance leg will be the left leg, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to begin just kind of balancing on that. But what I'm going to have the client do is flex that knee to 30 to 45 degrees, where they feel good and stable. Okay, then we're going to hinge forward at the hips, and I want to be in a good balanced position. This back leg, I don't care if it's perfectly straight or not, ideally the heel is going to be pointed up toward the ceiling. So I get in this position, I'm ready, and I'm going to begin to row. Again, I'm going to have a nice slow cadence as I row, and I want to pause at the top and come back down. One of the things you may see people do is tend to pull out and rotate away, so you want to cue against that. We really like to have them be pretty still through their trunk and their core and work on pulling, and there's going to be some balance challenge and displacement that will occur on the stance leg. Early on, it may be best to give them something stable, like a, a table such as this. You could use a foam roller, a bench, a chair, and just let them get used to rowing and being in that position. You're going to get a ton of glute activation on that stance leg, and you're really fighting frontal plane collapse or dynamic valgus on that side. You're trying to maintain neutral pillar alignment and then you're adding this contralateral row. So there's a lot going on. It's a great way to improve upper body pulling strength, but while under control, you're avoiding trunk rotation, trying to improve proximal hip stability, core stability, so big bang for your buck exercise. I'd recommend starting with a lighter weight and focusing really on posture and control. So giving them that upper body support is probably a great way to start. Progress away from it, advance load as they're able. You can increase the cadence to make it more challenging, but I think overall you'll find this is a great way to work the entire body, improve posture, strength, and alignment, and it'll help reduce injury risk as well.